and never fails, guys. That's where I'm here. Can we finish the video? Mm -hmm. What is up, y'all? You have tuned in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. I am your host, Regina. And today, y'all, today we're going to be talking about Miss Prissy P, Miss Precious Pig, if you will. It looks like a few folks had some things to say about the last video I did <laughs> about her and Mama Bree and the excuses they give as to why she is obese. It looks like a few people had a problem with that. One person even told me, oh, you're just mad because she got a man. Well, we're going to see how she treat that man. It doesn't look like we starting off too good. The man can't even call. And that's just the beginning of it, y'all. She treats this man like a damn dog. And as I said before, I wouldn't treat my dog like she treats her husband. So without further ado, y'all know how this go. Let's get it y'all uh, so today's topic is who holds the money in your relationship who handles or who handles it who handles it who holds it we Man, have a we have a joint account for our bills and we have a separate account for whatever because she like to have her 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 spending money and i like to have mine and you know right will and jay yes Yes, because me and Rayshawn, you know, if you guys have been watching us for a long time, we had a big conversation about money because Rayshawn is horrible. Like he hey. is, Rayshawn is horrible with money. It was but, real bad. But now I'm good with money. No, we ain't get to the to the now part. With money. No, we ain't get to the to the now part. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that he was making a lot of charges, like swiping his card yeah, for I'm, three or four dollars. Yeah, make sure y'all thumbs up this live. And at the time, y'all know Rayshawn smoked cigarettes, so he was buying cigarettes every day. Me, I'm very crazy about stuff like that because I'm like, why are you charging the car every day for three dollars? Like fifty dollars. You never know when a rainy day is gonna come. And Rayshawn never thought about a rainy day. He just thought about the bills paid. Right then so then let then. me right go then buy then. what I want to buy. Right. Always, it's like, no, what about putting something in savings? At that time, I always thought of right then and there, and basically I didn't give a, a bleep about. Nothing but yourself. Nothing but Whatever you want to buy. Yeah. So it's like, um, one day I came home and I was like, you know what? We're getting separate accounts. I'm done with this. I'm so sick of busting my ass out here. He busts his ass too, but I'm so sick of working hard and, and, that's the, and we that, don't have no savings. I think that was my mood. was like, dang. I bu he know. was mad. He was so I hurt. Was I was like, damn, I, I bust my ass every day to you know make a living. It's like, yeah, credit at a time. I wasn't thinking of, well, maybe... You know something major going yeah, on, on wrong with the car, and I ain't got the money for it. Yeah. For, for one, y'all already nagging. Y'all already asked for enough, enough stuff. Then on top of you asking for money. Boy, I don't ask you for nothing, cause I'm a G. Did I say you asked me for money? No, I'm just saying. Well, first boo. of all, I don't. You don't gotta ask. I just give. But first of all, P P got about twenty accounts out here in the world. P good. Pretty much the money that Rayshawn was saving up to buy his own self a car. Pretty much the money that Rayshawn was saving up to buy his own self a car was gonna go towards fixing my car. P good. P good. P good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I thought this was a conversation about who handles the money, or in her words, who holds the money in the relationship. So why on earth now, when Rayshawn is just explaining something, you know, literally answering questions or whatever he's doing does she get offended and say boy i don't ask you for nothing because i'm a g p got 20 accounts out here p good yet you had to get <laughs> you had to get money from his savings account that he was saving for his own car to fix your car what about them 20 accounts and what about the ppp loan that y'all got for pd shades now, before we move on any further, there was a commenter who said, I think you mad because she got a man. The whole reason why I'm doing these videos about Prissy P is because I'm mad, jealous, whatever word she used, that <laughs> Prissy P has a man. Now, that would be said if I was doing these videos simply because I'm mad that she has a man. 
And also, I asked that person, well, do you have a man? And evidently, this is definitely your first time on my channel. Because if it wasn't, and you had been here, you would know I got a man. Now, let's dive into that for a little bit, honey. Now, yes, I do have a man. And actually, I've been with mine for 15 years. Now, I asked you, do you have a man? All you could do was laugh. I would never have my man out here on the internet eating food for money. That's number one. Number two, I would never disrespect him like this girl is disrespecting her. So I want to dedicate this video to you. Let me show you just exactly how she treats that man. If that's what you want to call him. Because she belittles that man any chance she gets. And if she does it on camera, I'm pretty sure off camera, she gets even nastier. She'll snap on that man in a heartbeat. And when it's about her food, y'all, she don't even... I mean, me personally, I like when my man said, let me get a piece. Yes, let, let you get a piece. Like, not her. She wants hers. Everything is hers. And she'll even take his shit. When you sitting up with your husband and y'all got four burgers a piece and you eat all four and wings and onion rings and potato fries, whatever you had up there, and he say he full, she's still eating. But watch how she treat the man. Watch how she treat her man, which is absolutely disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The family pack was $38. That's worth it. We have a local page on Facebook that tells you about new restaurant stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, like a lot of people was giving them crap about mm -hmm. oh. He always do that. Comment below if your spouse do that. I mean, ain't no they, they always say they're not dippers. Right? So what's the point of having two two sides of, of ketchup on it? Hmm? Well, this wing has got a good little crunch to it. No. Mm. Cause you can go in there and get a, also too, you can go you can go in there and get a single slider. I enjoyed this. I sure have. Yeah. I want you just to notice that when she done, she still ain't done, honey. Because at this point, she this man is going to be saying something about this Gatorade and how it's hitting the spot. I know it's hitting the spot, especially when it's nice and cold. Now, if you pay attention to her, when she done, she ain't done, honey. Because she got to even eat the food from under her nails. Just plain nasty. Spot right now. Because I was thirsty. Bruh. Bruh. Slap it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. And get this video a thumbs up. Go check out the Epic Empire. I literally just asked you, did you want some sauce? You want some sauce? Yeah. You I do got, that every got two sauces right here. I know, so I do that. Because the two sauces open already. Yeah, they're mine. Already. Yeah, they're mine. Okay. I'll open my own then. Y'all heard me ask him too. That's, he always do that. There's five sauces on this table. Shit. Mm. Yeah, that's me. I don't like to get lost if I can't use my GPS. I, but I've always been like that though. I've always been the type of person that I don't like going nowhere not knowing how. He had to turn out. I don't hear it. He's like, oh, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, but it's a, like I said, it's a lot of base heads out here, but it's some of them guys be putting a lot of money into these, these builds. And you would too. No, I wouldn't. No. Y'all have a bite of this good old sandwich. See, it be that shit right there. Now, <laughs> this man is still talking, 
and what she do, and you would too. It seemed like she said it with a little bit of an attitude, and the only reason why she got an attitude is because he dipped in her sauce. I'm telling you, this girl don't play by her food. And then she proceeds to, he says, no, I wouldn't, and starts to talk about it. Then she puts her food in the camera with bread wrapped around it, talking about y'all get a bite. She is so disrespectful to that man. She don't let him talk. She finishes his sentences. And if you didn't notice, after she got heated about him dipping in her sauce, she had to scold him like it was her child. Like, stop treating that man like he's a child. My thing that I don't get is she does this shit on camera. She treats that man like shit on camera. So if she'll do it on camera, what the hell you think she doing off of camera? It's sad. And he sits there and takes it and roll over. I'm going to tell you one thing, Prissy P. The same thing I told Shanae. You better stop treating your husband like he's shit. Like you are prized possessions. Maybe to him you are. However, let that nigga leave and see how many more niggas you got lined up to do what he doing for your ass. Now, her and her mama was just on here yesterday, the other day, whenever, reading Bible verses. Let's read the one where it says the man is the head and the woman is the helpmate. Let's read that one and stop trying to be the boss of everything since you believe in the Bible so much. But that's another video. Now, at the same token, watch, <laughs> watch his response to giving her some food. This shit is fucked up. I'm going to work three, eight, three eight-hour shifts, mm -hmm. but I was only working... Excuse me. Go ahead. I was only working. She didn't even wait for his response. And that's how it is all the time. She don't even wait for the man to say, yes, you can have some. Like, she reached over and said whatever she said. I couldn't make it out. Let me get some. Whatever she said. And took his food before he even had a chance to say, go ahead. He was saying, go ahead. And her fork was already in his food. Uh, but this man can't even dip. <laughs> in her ketchup yet she can put her whole fork in a piece of his chicken from the Chinese shop or whatever it is he got down there <laughs> and eat it without any regards and it's okay two let me try your Mexican pizza never had it before no. I can show your mommy just eat this. No, I did not say that. I'm gonna eat Dr. Bell going up. Hmm. Hold on, did you just smell it? Mm-hmm. At least they gave me more drink than ice this time. Bomb. <laughs> Hope I didn't bore y'all. Stay tuned for more mukbangs. So, the man says, let me get some of your Mexican pizza. And <laughs> first of all, she takes a pause and puts a piece in her mouth. <laughs> the next thing she does is ask him, you ain't never had this before. It wouldn't matter if he had it a thousand times before. Why can't you just give him a piece? You have a whole Mexican pizza. I'm sure you had other food. Why couldn't you just give him a piece? Just like you dug in his food and took his shit without him even saying yes before your fork was in his food. And then she goes to say, and you said your mom used to get this. It, why does that matter? He, he just wants a piece of your pizza. And on top of that, the man asked for a piece of pizza. You gave him a piece of a piece of one. And then got the nerve to say, hold on, did you just smell it? Like you don't smell your food. Girl, please. Here y'all go. All right. Hold on, did you just smell it? Mm -hmm. Crunchy, much too good for children. Hold on, did you just smell it? Mm -hmm. Got me some lemon juice. I'm gonna eat my corn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a corn too, right? Yes. Now, I hope y'all paying attention to how she moved. Now on this plate, they got crawfish. They got shrimp with the heads on, shrimp with the heads off, corn, and crab leg clusters. She immediately screamed out, hold on, I got a corn too, right? So what if there was only one corn? 
Prissy P. What if there was only one corn? I, I was hoping it was only one corn to see your reaction to it. Because she would have took that corn from him too. Not to mention that she has all of the crawfish, all of the shrimp with the heads on, turn around and ate some of his shrimp with the heads off. And then if you notice in this next clip, he's going to pick up the crab legs. And she's in the middle of eating shrimp. She literally stopped what she's doing to pick up the other crab leg cluster to make sure she got hers. She got more than half of this food. She eating his shrimp with the heads off. He said, oh, I got two clusters. He thought all of the crab legs was his, evidently. But she said, uh-uh. I got two, one for me and one for you. Yet she's eating most of the food. And this is how it is most of the time. It's sad. But Ray, you better be glad that it was two pieces of corn, because if it wasn't, honey, you wouldn't even have had that. Well, they gave me two clusters? Yeah, I got one for me, one for you. Look at that, y'all. You know, they put me some on that lid. Just put me on some for you, right here. Y'all, Jolly Bee Strawberry Steak though, it's so good. I'm not, I'm not eating that skin. I am. You mean Brand talking to Brandon? Yeah. What is something that? What's your favorite food? Pizza? No. Hamburger and gravy, right? That's your favorite food? I never knew that. I thought it was, you told me something else plenty of times. I got a lot of food. No, I mean just something that you can just eat without, like, you can eat it anytime. Yeah, if I can eat it anytime, it's hamburger and gravy. Yeah, nice. Hmm. Interesting. You can try, you can try on it. Alright, so. I'm gonna cover this up. Show that for my late night snack. I don't know. That's real selfish of you, but we know you selfish. You selfish with your own husband. And that's sad. You treat him like a child. You talk to him like he's your son. Even at the beginning of this video, where they were talking about who handles the money. If you notice, she never said anything about herself that she needs to improve. She only talked about what Rayshawn needed to improve. Rayshawn, you should be happy you split your account with hers because it seemed like she's in control of everything, which is why, well, some households are the way that they are because you got these women out here trying to be the leader, and that's not how God, since you know the Bible so well, that's not how God wanted it to be but that is not for me to decide y'all let me know how you are feeling in the comments all about prissy p in the utmost disrespect she shows to ray sean y'all let me know how you feel that ray sean is not allowed to ask for her food or she will throw an insult or throw shots at her husband yet she can dig in his plate anytime she feels well I want to thank y'all for tuning in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. My name is Regina. Remember to always keep it real and your girl is out. Thank you. Can I have a pork roll? I'm gonna go get her some more tomatoes, y'all. And sour cream. And sour cream. She had her little hissy fit. About the tomatoes. She had her little hissy fit. About the tomatoes.